Hey guys, how's it going? This is Matt Jones from iOSbetas.com, and I'm here with hopefully the last update video that you guys will need on how to install iOS 6 Beta 1 onto your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now, if you've had any problems in the past, I've tried to help you out. However, I think I finally pinpointed the problems that everyone is having. I'm not totally sure why they are. It's something on Apple's side of the problem. Yet, I'm here, I got a fix for it, and this will fix any problem that has to do with this firmware is not eligible for the requested build, or unable to activate, you're not part of the developer program, or anything along those lines, could not activate iPad, anything that goes with that, this update should fix, or this video should fix if you follow the instructions in this. So, there's two options where you could be right now. You can either be running 5.1.1 as I am here, again, you see this is my iPad, and I'm on 5.1.1 or you may be on 6.0 but your iPhone is quote unquote bricked which isn't too big of a deal but we'll be able to get you back to 5.1.1 because then you'll have to um, upgrade to the software using being on 5.1.1 first so let's start and if you're already on 5.1.1 hold on for a little you can watch this part of the video and then we're gonna get the people on 6.0 back to 5.1.1 so, if you're on 6.0, your device is probably unusable right now. It gives you an error message on the screen or something like that. So, what we're going to do is put it into DFU mode and then downgrade back to 5.1.1. So, DFU mode isn't that hard to get into. All you have to do is start by plugging in your device, whether it's your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod. And then you're going to want to hold down the lock button and hold button for 10 seconds simultaneously. So, let's start here. Alright, and then after 10 seconds, release the top button and continue holding your home button. And then if you're plugged into iTunes and you've done it correctly, this message will pop up. So it says, iTunes has detected an iPad recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. So this means we've done it correctly and you click OK. You're going you're gonna to get that it doesn't know the capacity, doesn't know the version, doesn't know the serial number. It just knows that it's an iPad. And regardless of whether you are on 5.1.1 or 6.0, you will be able to get into this mode. Again, it's hold the top and home button 10 seconds simultaneously. After 10 seconds, release the top button, continue holding the home until you get the message in iTunes. So, what you're going to want to do now, if this is only again if you're on 6.0, is click restore. Click restore and update, and it's going to start extracting the software, yada, yada. If you don't have 5.1 on your computer or haven't um, put it on your device yet, it'll probably download it from the server first. It'll just do it right on the side here. Nothing much to worry about, but just something to make note of. Again, it won't take too long, but let your iPad completely go back to 5.1.1, and then I recommend just setting it up as a new device. Don't restore all your stuff on because that's a waste of time. Just go set up as a new device quickly and get it into the point where you can see the info about it. So now I'm going to take my iPad out of DFU mode to represent the people that are still in 5.1.1. Again, I don't know if you'll need to do this, but if you ever go into DFU mode and don't need to restore right away, all you have to do is hold down the home and power button again, or the home, yeah, and power button again until this goes away. And then just let go of those, give it a second, and you see your iPad is turned on. So not much to worry about there, but usually when you put it into DFU mode, you'll be restoring and it'll pull it out of DFU mode for you. But again, if you're doing like what I did and had to take it out for some reason, um, that's how you do it. A lot of people don't know. It's kind of weird because you can't just use one of the buttons. You have to use both. Just something to make note out of. Anyways, just let the iPad power back on here, and then we will begin with the process. All right, so here it is. We got it. Here's my iPad. As you see, I am on 5.1.1. So regardless of whether you were on 6.0 first or 5.1.1, now you should be back on 5.1.1. No matter who you were, this is how you got to do it. So before what you have to do is click option or shift restore. This time you're going to go check for update along with the option or shift button. So as you see here, we'll turn on the iPad. There it is. And you're going to want to make sure that you have your firmware sitting somewhere where you know in the .ipsw file. And you're going to go option on a Mac or if you're on a Windows, it's shift click. And then you're going to want to do is click open. And it's going to say iTunes will update your iPad to iOS 6 and verify the restore with Apple. So you want to go ahead and click update and then just wait for this to finish. Now this shouldn't take too long. An iPad firmware is taking a little bit longer. Apple ones or iPhones tend to take not as long and iPod Touch don't take as long. But again, you're going to make sure you do that. 
and this is taking it from 5.1.1 to 6.0 and if done correctly this should eliminate all problems that you'll have again make sure you're in 5.1.1 first and then do option check for update or shift check for update um, don't do restore that's where a lot of the problems come from even though that's the normal way to do it um, you want to use check for update now all right, while we're waiting for this to load, on a side note, a lot of people have been emailing me saying, hey, I've heard I can get my email for free or I can get my UDID for free. Um, there are some people I've actually seen who've gotten through. It's I don't know if I believe all of them, but it's not something I would play around with because eventually Apple does crack down, usually after the first couple weeks of the iOS being out, and it's not hard at them at all to see if your device is registered. You plug it into iTunes once or it syncs with the cloud once, and Apple says, oh, look, they're running iOS beta, and your UDID isn't registered, you're done. They'll finish you off. They'll just All they do is knock your device off. It bricks, loses all your data. You're not getting any of that back, anything you've done, and they're going to screw you over. So it's not something I personally would play around with if you want to take that risk of messing around with your iPhone or iPod or your iPad go for it by all means you can try and put it on for free but for 10 bucks it'll probably save you a lot of headache in the future and it's guaranteed knowing you'll be safe and you can install them all flawlessly from here on into the future so I mean not something I would play with but again if you want to go ahead you can try it but just be warned that Apple will probably come after you if you're not registered all they have to do is run one scan for your UDID and if it's not in the system then you're done. All right, so I'm going to pause this video, wait for the iPad to finish updating, and then I'll come back and see you guys in a couple seconds. All right, bye. There it is, version 6.0. All right, so this guy should hopefully alleviate any of the problems you're having. Just try this. Again, what you want to do is option, update. If you're not already successfully on 6.0, make sure your UDID is registered because you probably won't get through if you haven't registered it. And if you do get through, you're getting taken down fairly soon by Apple. Again, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, the best place to hit me up is on Twitter at iOS Betas. I reply to that the most often. It's always on me, and I can just help you guys out quickly with problems on Twitter. If they're more extensive, support at iosbetas.com. That's where you can reach me. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. Share this video. Mainly, this was to help any of you guys out having problems. Download links should be fixed and on the website later today. I got some better ones because IMZDL was giving me lots of problems. Other than that, uh, see you guys later, and thanks for watching.